It happened when I was 22, on the cusp of my adulthood. When you are assaulted, an identity is given to you. It threatens to swallow up everything you plan to do and be. I became Emily Doe. Assault teaches you to shrink, makes you afraid to exist. Shame, really, can kill you. Unconscious, stupid, dumpster, swimmer, Stanford, half-naked, nameless, nobody. Nobody wants to be defined by the worst thing that's happened to them. I feared those words would follow me forever, so I did not speak. In court, the judge used words like moderate, less serious, to describe the crime. I remember the trial. The defense attorney stood before the jury and said, Chanel knows how you get in blackouts. You drink a lot of alcohol, and that's what she did this night, and many other nights, to be honest. So I wrote a victim impact statement, 12 pages. I read it at the sentencing straight to the man who hurt me. You don't know me, but you've been inside me. Fingers had been jabbed inside me. My bare skin and head had been rubbing against me. Who has been irreversibly hurt behind a dumpster. Waiting to figure out if I was worth something. But the judge did not hear me. When I released the statement, something else happened. It's forever changed the way I carry myself. The way I believe you can't be silent. The world breathed life into my words. I spent all this time absorbing, absorbing, listening to their voices until I understood. Chanel knows how you get in blackouts. Chanel also knows how to write. And Chanel knows how to draw. Survivors will not be limited, labeled, boxed in, oppressed. We will not be isolated. We have had enough. Enough of the shame, diminishment, the disbelief, enough loneliness. Look at all this togetherness. Look out for one another. Seek whatever you wish to be in life. Speak up when they try to silence you. Stand up when they shove you down. No one gets to define you. You do. You do. My name is Chanel, and I am with you.